Hey, Charlie. I thought you were on a cruise. Canceled ships in the shop. <laughs> Isn't that called dry dock, Charlie? Ooh, aren't we Miss Seven Seas? <laughs> so, what happened? Yeah, I spilled a banana daiquiri on the navigation console and it kind of shorted out and started a fire. <laughs> what they were so mad about it would have went out eventually we're surrounded by water you must be in trouble so what they do throw you in the brig no they locked me in the ship's jail <laughs> then when they got back to the place where they parked the boat they told me that i was suspended for three weeks with pay with pay union thing don't ask questions where is my purse this is not a good start. I'm late for my therapy session, and I have this terrible nightmare I have to discuss. Oh, there it is. What kind of dream got you so upset? Oh, it was awful. I dreamt about marshmallows. Ooh, scary. <laughs> oh, imbecile, you don't understand. I dreamt that I was back in Girl Scouts roasting marshmallows when suddenly the marshmallows began to mock me. <laughs> You're a loser. You're a loser. And then they melted away into nothingness, thumbing their gooey noses at me. <laughs> Clearly, it represents my relationship with Patrick. We had a horrible fight. I think I'm losing him. Hence the dream. Where are my keys? Oh, there they are. Dreyfus, you are always in the way, stupid dog. Move! Oh, this did she hurt your feelings, honey? Oh, I'm sorry. She hurt my feelings, too. <laughs> Do you know what today is? Thursday. Nope. It is too. Oh, okay, yeah, it's Thursday, but what else is it? Wear your pants backwards to the office today? <laughs> wrong again. What do you mean wrong again? I was right about Thursday, I swear. Man struts in early, starts twisting my mind around with silly riddles. Get out. <laughs> Laverne, why do you keep telling me to get out? Because today is the end of your fiscal year, the day you have always given me a bonus. And your show of gratitude, though always appreciated, embarrasses me. You knew? Well, of course I knew. Well, anyway, Laverne, today is bonus day. Oh, my Lord, is it that time already? Please. Now, I decided to do something a little different this year. I'm giving you this instead of cash. This entitles you to a small percentage of ownership in the Dade County Galleria. Ownership? I own the Galleria? The Galleria is mine? Well, not exactly. You see, I'm a limited partner, which means I own a small percentage, and I just gave you a small percentage of my percentage. Understand? Uh-huh. I own it now. Well, you own your small share, yeah. Then this makes you and me partners. Yeah, in a manner of speaking. So tell me, partner, where do I park? Did I mention a small percentage? Yes, you did. Did I mention uh, you could sell it back to me if you'd rather have the cash? Sell it back? Hell, I've always dreamed of owning acreage. 
sitting on the back porch of my own home with a shotgun saying, get off my land, get off my land before I splatter your guts all over my cow. <laughs> You've made that dream come true. And a, and a beautiful dream it is. Hey, Drife, I'm home. <laughs> Dreyfus? What's going on? What is wrong with Dreyfus? What do you mean? Well, he keeps running away from me. I, I think he must be sick or something. Watch. Come here, Dreyf. Come here, Dreyf. <laughs> oh, something I said? <laughs> it was something I said. I bet he's upset because I yelled at him this morning. Oh, Dreyfy, you're not mad at me, are you, huh? <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Hello. Oh, hi, Laurent. Uh, how, how nice, but why are you telling me you're on the first floor of the Galleria? <laughs> well, now, now, now that I know it's safe and secure, I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Laurent, please, stop calling me partner. <laughs> Want a sandwich? No, Charlie, I just ate. All right. <laughs> what are we watching? It's Nova. Hate it. Really? It's, it's on for six hours tonight. What the hell? Looks like we're in for a long evening. <laughs> yes, I am. What's that? It's a... it's a dolphin. Charlie, you work on a ship. Oh, they don't let me up on deck, Harry. Aren't you going to get that? No. Might be Laverne. And you don't want our evening interrupted. <laughs> Are you out? I'm asleep. Gotcha. Hello. No, it's Charlie Laverne. Hold on, Laverne. <laughs> I just told Harry. you... I don't do phone lies. No challenge. Yes, Laverne. Second floor is safe and secure. That's true, yeah. The, the gallery has many floors. Get off them. Good night. Harry, when they ship styrofoam, what do they pack it in? Charlie, if you're bored, why don't you read a book? I don't get it. What's the gag? Just read a book. A book? Harry, I haven't read a book since... Well, I never read a book. All right, Charlie, come on. Come with me. Come on, come on. Let's go. Come over here. You're going to read a book. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There's a whole wall of books. Just pick one. I don't have to look any further. Love story. Go, read it. You'll love it. I won't just love it, Harry. I'm going to love it. <laughs> Finally alone at last. Oh. Good. Machine got it. Harry, Laverne. Something smells good. Mm -mm. Yeah, take the cup. Those aren't for you, they're for dry fish. You're baking cookies for a dog? They're doggy biscuits, and yes, I feel terrible about having yelled at dry fish, and this is just my way of making it up to him. Carol, dry fish will get over it. Look, he'll just come to you when he's ready. Emily, dear, I think I know dry fish a little better than you do. Fine. <laughs> Going to love this. Okay, Dreyfy. Dreyf, it's Mommy Carol. All right, Dreyf, it's Emily. Good boy. See what I have for you?
Hey, I'm Laverne Todd, and this is Dr. Weston, and this is ours as far as I can see. But you're welcome to stay a while. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Laverne Todd, and this is Dr. Weston, and this is our land. Who cares? <laughs> Laverne, listen to me. Pay attention to me, please. This is not your land. If you divide your share and the amount of land that's here, do you know how much space is yours? How much? My right foot is covering your land. Won't you get yourself a decent pair of shoes? Now, come on, this here's the last door left to check on. We don't, Laverne, nobody needs you to check on them here. Nobody cares. Nobody know, they don't even know who you are. Afternoon, Miss Todd. <laughs> Nice job the way you stiff arm that high school kid going the wrong way up the escalator. <laughs> Engine maintenance. Please report immediately to second floor. Wishing well backed up and water on the floor. That's us, doctor. What food? What else? They go for maintenance. I'm not going. What about the food court? Do you want to be remembered as the owner who left a wishing well flood the hot dog on a stick stand? <laughs> well, no. I mean, of course not. But... 10-4. We're on our way. It's time for you to stand by your land. What a woman. I'll sell it to you for $300. Hey, Charlie, what you reading? This great book. I was up with it all night. I couldn't put it down. I'm just about to start chapter 11. That's chapter 2, Charlie. See, um, those are Roman numerals. Like, chapter 3 will be three eyes. Don't spoil it for me. I cannot believe that you are reading Love Story. I'm not. I'm reading Love Story. I've really got to thank Harry for turning me on to this reading thing. It's amazing. What a great idea. It's like a book on tape without the sound. You know, Charlie, in your case, a mind is an absolutely okay thing to waste. <laughs> Love Story. Gosh, I remember the first time I read this, I was in junior high. I cried for three days straight. Of course, I was just a kid back then. Oh, this is my favorite part. When Oliver goes to her and... This is so beautiful. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> no, Patrick, it's not Carol. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, Doctor. This relationship means so much to me. I mean, I, I know I can be difficult, and I'm sure he has his side, too. But... Carol, as you know, asking for help is the first step. Doctor, I'm sure that when you meet him, you'll see that Dreyfus is a classic passive-aggressive personality. Mostly passive. Well, Carol, you have done exactly the right thing coming to see an animal therapist. I tell you what. I can fit you in... <clears throat> tomorrow. Let's see, um... Three o'clock, I've got the bulimic pony. Four o'clock... Paranoid parrot. Fascinating case. Who put something in my cracker? Who put something in my cracker? <laughs> Three thirty for Dreyfus. Oh, it's fine. You know, Dreyfus, that's very interesting. Who named him? I did. You know, names can have important psychological implications. Are you aware that the Dreyfus affair was a famous historical court martial? Yes, I did know that. Carol, is it possible that when Dreyfus was a pop, you perceived him as a burden, a trial, if you will? <laughs> Do you take people? <laughs> I am telling you, Lurleen, next time I come to Hickory, I might just be wearing me a top hat and smoking a smelly old stogie. <laughs> right? Just like that guy on the community chess cards in Monopoly. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go back. Okay, Lurleen, that's it for the day? That's it for the day, partner.
Now I'll be headed out to the Galleria to check on our investment. Has it occurred to you that you're obsessed with this Galleria thing? No. Would you let me buy back your piece of the Galleria? What about my dream? Sitting on that back porch with my shotgun. Laverne, the Galleria doesn't have a back porch, and, and, and the shotguns aren't allowed. We can build a back porch and we can strike down these shotgun laws if we all just pull together. Uh, Laverne, I, I had hoped that this would be a good chance for you to learn a little bit about investments, but along the way, something went terribly, terribly wrong. Now, so why don't you just sell it back to me? You mean I give you back that little piece of paper and you give me $500? Yes. What does that have to do with investment? I thought you make money with investments. <laughs> Okay, I'll give you $600. Said the spider to the fly. 800 700 750 Done. I'm in the check-in tomorrow. I must swallow 50% profit in 24 hours. I'd say you made out pretty well, Laverne. I plan on giving my profit to charity. Well, that's, that's very noble of you, and I admire that. United Cause, I'd like to make a donation of $250. Well, you're welcome. Now, I'll be down tomorrow to check on your operation. Where's my parking place? <laughs> hey, Charlie, how do you like the book? Well, we hit a valley here. All of a sudden, this babe's a little sick or something. But this Oliver's a classy guy. She's lying in bed half dead. He doesn't put a move on her. Don't tell me. Turns out he's gay. Come in, Dr. Simmons. I'm sorry I'm late. My session with the bulimic pony went a little longer than expected. I still can't figure out how he gets his hoof down his throat. Uh, before we begin, I think I should tell you something about Dreyfus. He's very good looking and he knows it. So don't be taken in by his charm. Carol, I'm a professional. I have dealt with thousands of dogs. I evaluate them all very objectively. Oh my God, he's beautiful. Come here, drifey wifey. Oh, did the mean lady yell at you? Oh. Oh. Dr. Simmons. Okay. I would like to observe your interaction, Carol. Why don't you call Dreyfus? Dreyfus, come here. You know, I think his behavior is a little extreme for one scolding. Is it possible... No, I know where you're heading, that there's a subtle pattern of emotional neglect. Yes, very often... And in do these... I know emotional neglect? <laughs> do you know that once when I was seven, my father left for work without saying goodbye? <laughs> do you know how that made me feel? No. <laughs> I know how that would make a Pekingese feel. Well, let me tell you how traumatic that was. It was really awful. Which brings me to my relationship with Patrick. Please tell me he's a cat. No. No, he's my boyfriend. Oh. Well, let's get back to Dreyfus. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Stay with me. <laughs> See, I think in an unconscious way, I'm transferring my anger for Patrick to Dreyfus. Or, or perhaps it's just my rage towards all men. Carol, I came here to deal with Dreyfus. Now, I think his problem... Well, Dr. Simmons, I think you're missing the point. No, you're missing the point. Well, if you just let me explain about Patrick... Carol, I don't, I don't want to hear about Patrick, your father, your ex-husband, or your bedwetting at Camp Weemaway. <laughs> uh, 
why not? I think that you are the most egocentric, self-centered, self-involved, self-serving mammal I have ever met. If I were Dreyfus, I would go for your throat. And let me tell you one more thing. What's he doing? I think he's defending you. God knows why. <laughs> That was brilliant. How did you ever get your anger towards me to seem so real? <laughs> well, I couldn't have done it without you. Charlie? Charlie, what's the matter? I finished the book. She died, Harry. Jenny's gone. Uh, there is a sequel. No, 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 no. I'm not putting myself through this emotional ringer again. Nope, no more books for me. Someone once said, there's a book in all of us. Well, I've read mine. Charlie, Charlie, there's, there's, there's a whole world of books out there. You just pick the sad one. Okay, I'll try one more. Go ahead, yeah. There's lots to choose from. You take your time. <laughs> of human bondage? <laughs> Harry, all right. Miss Todd, I'm from the United Corps. Why, hey, partner. Now, there's a few more things that needs discussing. First of all... Uh, Miss Todd, please. The United Corps has been in business since 1847, and this is the first time we had to do something like this. Like what? Return a donation. <laughs> We're giving yours back. What? Well, not exactly back. We made a donation in your name to a very worthy cause, and we'd appreciate it if you deal directly with them. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, at least these people do good work. Hello? I'd like to speak to Jerry Lewis, please. <laughs> Hey, Charlie. I thought you were on a cruise. Canceled. Ship's in the shop. Isn't that called dry dock, Charlie? Ooh, aren't we Miss Seven Seas? So, what happened? Yeah, I spilled a banana daiquiri on the navigation console and it kind of shorted out and started a fire. I don't know what they were so mad about. It would have went out eventually. We're surrounded by water. You must be in trouble. So what they do, throw you in the brig? No, they locked me in the ship's jail. <laughs> then when they got back to the place where they parked the boat, they told me that I was suspended for three weeks with pay. With pay? Union thing. Don't ask questions. Where is my purse? This is not a good start. I'm late for my therapy session, and I have this terrible nightmare I have to discuss. Oh, there it is. What kind of dream got you so upset? Oh, it was awful. I dreamt about marshmallows. Ooh, scary. <laughs> oh, imbecile, you don't understand. I dreamt that I was back in Girl Scouts roasting marshmallows when suddenly the marshmallows began to mock me. <laughs> You're a loser. You're a loser. And then they melted away into nothingness, thumbing their gooey noses at me. <laughs> Clearly, it represents my relationship with Patrick. Good morning. Well, doctor, not only are you on time, you're early. Get out. <laughs> Laverne, do you know what today is? Thursday. Nope. It is, too. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's Thursday, but what else is it? Wear your pants backwards to the office today. 
Wrong again. What do you mean wrong again? I was right about Thursday, I swear. Man struts in early, starts twisting my mind around with silly riddles. Get out. <laughs> Laverne, why do you keep telling me to get out? Because today is the end of your fiscal year, the day you have always given me a bonus. And your show of gratitude, though always appreciated, embarrasses me. You knew? Well, of course I knew. Well, anyway, Laverne, today is bonus day. Oh, my Lord, is it that time already? Please. Now, I decided to do something a little different this year. I'm giving you this... Instead of cash. This entitles you to a... We had a horrible fight. I think I'm losing him. Hence the dream. Where are my keys? Oh! There they are. Dreyfus, you are always in the way, stupid dog. Move! Oh, oh Dreyfus, did she hurt your feelings, honey? Oh, I'm sorry. She hurt my feelings, too. <laughs> Life goes on, and so do we. Just how we do it is no mystery. One by one, we fill the days. We find a thousand different ways. Sometimes the answer can be hard to find. small percentage of ownership in the Dade County Galleria. Ownership? I own the Galleria. The Galleria is mine. Well, the, uh, not exactly. You see, I, I'm a limited partner, which means I own a small percentage, and I just gave you a small percentage of my percentage. Understand? Uh-huh. <laughs> I own it now. Well, you own your small share, yeah. Then this makes you and me partners. Yeah, in a manner of speaking. So tell me, partner, where do I park? <laughs> did I mention a small percentage? Yes, you did. Did I mention uh, you could sell it back to me if you'd rather have the cash? Sell it back? Hell, I've always dreamed of owning acreage. <laughs> Sitting on the back porch of my own home with a shotgun saying, Get off my land, get off my land before I splatter your guts all over my cow. <laughs> You've made that dream come true. And a, and a beautiful dream it is. Hey, Dreyfus, I'm home. <laughs> Dreyfus? What's going on? Dreyfus? <laughs> Dreyfus, what's the matter? Uh, what is wrong with Dreyfus? What do you mean? Well, he keeps running away from me. I, I think he must be sick or something. Watch. Come here, Drive. Come here, Drive. <laughs> oh, something I said? It was something I said. I bet he's upset because I yelled at him this morning. Oh, Drivey, you're not mad at me, are you, huh? <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Hello. Oh, hi, Laverne. Uh, how, how nice, but why are you telling me you're on the first floor of the Galleria? <laughs> well, no, no, now that I know it's safe and secure, I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Laverne, please, stop calling me partner. <laughs> Want a sandwich? No, Charlie, I just ate. All right. <laughs> what are we watching? It's Nova. Hate it. Really? It's, 